Now, the diplomatic row between Britain and Spain has intensified after Spanish police sent divers to inspect an artificial reef in the waters of Gibraltar. Last month, Gibraltar's government dropped 74 concrete blocks into the sea to create the reef, which it says is to boost marine life. Spain claims the reef is damaging its fishing industry. Well, let's talk about this to the editor of the Gibraltar Chronicle, Dominique Searle, who joins us live via Skype. A very good morning to you, Dominique Searle. Thanks for talking to us. Uh, what effect will this footage of the police, of Spanish police down there at the reef, have on tensions, do you think? I think it will, I mean, obviously it will increase the sense that uh, Spain can't be trusted. Um, and I think it also really shows how sneaky they are, because really at the end of the day, they actually pretended to the Gibraltar police that they dropped something in the water uh, and were trying to recover it, some equipment. And so, you know, and really it was just a very, very sort of surreptitious um, uh, little game that they were playing for the media in Spain. Well, yes, and what do you make of the timing of this action? There had been some feeling that perhaps the situation was calming down. We'd heard that Gibraltar's chief minister had offered to allow uh, the 59 local Spanish fishermen who operate in those waters to return to that area. So what do you make of the timing? Well, I don't think it affects it in the sense that one thing is, is the sort of uh, diplomatic talk and the, and the reality that we'll have to get to some form of dialogue. Another thing is really the performance uh, to the Spanish audience. And I think, you know, what, what the game there is in particular uh, is that they're very pedantic about the, the claim over sovereignty. And so this particular area of sea is off an isthmus which they claim uh, wasn't given to Britain in the famous uh, Treaty of Utrecht of 1713. And therefore, in many respects, uh, this was a sort of sneaky assertion of that they have some kind of authority in the waters. Well, yes, and so those, those waters are disputed, and Spain is saying, of course, that this reef is there to disrupt their fishermen. Gibraltar, on the other hand, is saying that it's there to replenish fishing stocks. I mean, how much does it disrupt fishing? Well, it doesn't disrupt fishing much at all because, in fact, there was only one fellow who used to go there. I mean, from the fishermen's point of view, you've got to understand the disordinary working people. What they're trying to get is money. They've already got some compensation, about 10,000 euros each for a year, for three years. Um, so they're quite happy to be used in a diplomatic spat. At the end of the day, this isn't about fishing. It's about sovereignty of the waters. Um, and, you know, I think there can be a broader agreement. I'm sure if, if, if the ad hoc talks could bring together um, a group of sort of uh, environmentalists and experts on fishing, um, you could decide where reefs should be all over those waters as they are around much of the coast of Spain and also decide where people can fish uh, legitimately. How, row, how big, rather, does this row feel there? I mean, does this feel like more than a fight about fishing rights? Does it feel about, about a bigger fight about Gibraltar's sovereignty? Does this feel like a crisis there? No, it, I think it doesn't feel like a crisis, basically, because we're just, you know, I mean, over the years, we're, we're used to sort of different varying levels of it. This is a particularly nasty one, because I think the, the particular minister in Spain uh, is very personal about it and, and is actually creating a, a great sense of... Uh, you know, almost sort of uh, stigmatizing Gibraltarians within Spain. A lot of people are not comfortable at the moment from Gibraltar to go into Spain. And I think it's also, um, from, from where we look at it, um, really mocking uh, British diplomacy because whilst, you know, a lot of people will, will tell you that uh, in Franco's day they respected the water, of course the, the, the waters in those days had three destro destroyers permanently uh, at the naval base at least. So, you know, there was a different uh, scene. Now I think Spain, which is looking now uh, to go on to the Security Council at the UN and is quite happy to make liaisons with countries like Argentina um, is really trying to show, uh, you know, Gibraltarians and Britain itself that they're not really in, a, in the same position they were 30 years ago. Okay, Dominic Searle, editor of the Gibraltar Chronicle, thank you.